So that's just like living up to a Super Sunday kind of uh, promise for our viewers. Hope you've enjoyed all the action. And then there was one, the New York Roadrunners Wanamaker Mile. You see the world and American record. You know, Kara, it has been 46 years since an American held the world indoor mile record. But could that streak end today? I think there's a very good chance that streak ends today. Yard Nagus has been so focused. He's actually said, I want the world record. That's not the yard from a year ago, right? He is still unassuming. He still wants to have fun. But when he races, he wants it all. And I think missing out on that podium at the world championships in the 1500 meter last year made him very determined to come back this year and stamp his mark on the sport. And I don't know if it's the turtle at home or just his <laughs> desire to be an orthodontist or when he was asked at the news conference what was it like to run at Milrose he says well Milrose is to track what Pikachu is to the Pokemon franchise he just exudes a lot of confidence and charisma but he's going to get a battle here Hobbs Kessler the young 20 year old from Michigan you know Kessler went pro right out of high school and he's taken a couple years to come into his own as we expect but he really showed up last week and, you know, he thinks he's an American record shape himself. And then how about George Mills? There was that, that race we all watched with Ingebrigtsen versus Nagus at the Prefontaine Classic last year. This is who was third. He's ready to move up. Very, very fit. His dad, Danny, was a footballer for Leeds United. But all eyes on Yared Nagus. As he will start on the outside channel as they all get their arms up and try to find room to run. So many legendary moments in the Wanamaker Mile, but it has not happened since 1955, where a world record was set in the process of crowning a Wanamaker Mile champion. 69 years. Will that streak end today? We'll see as you look at that fabulous field. Includes Cooper Tier coming off a U.S. championship in cross country. He's back there in about 10th position early on as they'll use the pace setter here early. Derek Holdsworth, who competed collegially at Division II Western Oregon, just being asked to sprint for as long as he can. <laughs> I mean, look at Yard Nagus. Look how long that stride is. Look how high his back kick is. It's deceiving. If you're running behind him, you say, look at this guy. He looks so relaxed. We must not be running that hard. But he is absolutely flying, and his form is just so relaxed as he does so. And they are under world record pace as of right now. As Hob Kepsler is going to just try to hold himself in that position ahead of Mills behind Nagus. Five laps to go. And behind Mills we see Garcia Romo, he's actually Yard Nagus's training partner. They train together, they run very, very well together, all their workouts together, so always comforting when your teammate is in the race. But what a difference from a year ago when Yard Nagus moved later in the race to push away and negative split. He is just out hot right away this year and really running this race with authority. Now Holdsworth will become a spectator like the rest of us as he gives way to the lead. Halfway home, Holdsworth takes him through the half mile in 152.28. They are well under world record pace. You know, Nagu said, all I want to see is 346 anything. You know, anything since the world record is 347.01. But look at this pack he has with them. Mills and Kessler look very, very good. They don't look like this pace has taken anything out of them. They look like they're floating along as well. Kajelcha, who won the Wanamaker Mile and almost had the world record in 2019 in February, went on to break it in early March of that year. 347.01. Nagus winning here last year in 347.38. But he has really pushed the pace here. And now it's just a question of trying to hold this to the end. Again, it's hard to see just how fast Nagus is running because he is so comfortable at those paces. But they are absolutely flying right now. Three quarters of the way home in 2.51.87. Got to keep pressing here. Got to keep pressing. And we see they got a little company now. Other people are moving up. Nagus needs to really push this down. And Kessler has just stayed. Such a clean race sitting right there behind Nagus the whole time. Nagus and Kessler and Mills. Adam Fogg, who ran his 
way into this race by winning an invitational two weeks ago here. Oh, and a trip up there. Mills almost goes down as Nagus on the loose on the back stretch. He is pushing for everything he has. He wants this record so badly. He wants to send this game in. I am to be messed with. You need to respect me. You see the world record in the lower right, 347.01. The battle for second to be ignored. Yared Nagus at the line. Not a world record, but he does take another Wanamaker title. That was an awesome race, Paul. I know we didn't get the world record, but what a run out of Nagus and such a different athlete than we saw a year ago. You know, last year he kind of moved up later in the race, came into the picture, took the lead. This year he did all the work. He went straight to the front and he showed his confidence is so much higher. Looking back on the splits, they were two seconds ahead of world record pace at the halfway mark. Do you think they surged too quickly early? Maybe a little bit. I mean, part of the reason why Nagus ran so fast last year is he really opened up. He had this incredible 200 meters in the middle of the race there towards the end, but maybe it was a little too hot too soon, but that's what it takes. You have to take risks if you're going after a world record. And look at here, you know, he just opens up. It's ever so slightly, but his lead just increases and increases. You could see it on his face how much he wanted this. He was really fighting for this. We see a little grimace down the home stretch. He was looking at that clock. And Hobbs Kessler, what a great kick out of him to come through to be second. Yeah, to put Hobbs Kessler now number four all-time performer in the history of the event. He's only 20 years of age. And Yared Nagus gets the Wanamaker Trophy hardware and a thumbs up for him. 347.83, he takes the win. Lewis? Well, Yard, first of all, what's it feel like to hold that trophy here in New York? I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I feel like ever since I came to Millrose last year, I knew that it was a special meet. And to come back as a defending champion is still just really what I wanted, so. Yeah. Kara Goucher was saying you were looking for 346, anything, and you were so close. Yeah. Tell me about the races that broke down, and how do you think things panned out for you? You know, like, leading a whole race by yourself like that it takes a lot of strength, and I feel like I didn't have as much of a bite as I wanted to to really get right under 347. But still, at the end of the day, winning is what really matters, and I'm really happy that I did that today. Yard, at what point did you cross the threshold from knowing you could be an American record holder, you did that here last year, to believing you could be a world record holder in this event? When did you get to that mentality? I mean, honestly, I was, I was like, just as nervous. Because <laughs> last year, I was, I was freaking out. I was like, oh, man, my first mile's a pro, and I want to get the American record. Hopefully, I can do it. And now I'm going for the world record. Like, even if I was close, it's still just a like, great, a great achievement to reach. And I'm just really happy for everyone who's going to support me no matter what. So thank you, guys. <laughs> You've got a great story to tell with your fans and the turtle at home, right? Uh, yeah, my tour is at home. He's chilling, still hibernating. <laughs> Congratulations on another great day here in New York. Thank you, thank you. All right, what a great day of racing, Paul, huh? Oh, absolutely. And when that tortoise wakes up, he'll be excited to uh, hear the results. Another Wanamaker title. Kara, all these.